Can you believe it? There exists a predatory species distantly related to kangaroos and American marsupials, possessing a pair of saber teeth that never stop growing. Even more astonishing is that these deadly weapons are perfectly protected within special bony grooves attached directly to its lower jaw. Sounds like a creature straight out of some sci-fi movie, doesn't it? But no, this is a real monster that once terrorized ancient South America. In today's video, we will unravel the mystery of Thylacosmolus, the marsupial predator with one of the most bizarre sets of teeth in the history of life. It all began in 1933, when Argentinian scientists first unearthed a truly extraordinary fossilized skull in the wild Patagonia region. From the very first glance, they were completely shocked. This skull was not only unusually large, nearly 40 meter long, but also possessed two sharp, pointed canine teeth, extending up to 20 centimeters each, protruding menacingly from the upper jaw. That image immediately brought to mind the famous saber-toothed cat Smilodon of North America. However, what most puzzled the scientists was not the size or sharpness of those canine teeth, but a strange bony structure from the lower jaw. A pair of bony sheaths grew upwards, completely enclosing the massive canine teeth when the mouth was closed a feature never before recorded in any carnivorous animal. This structure was completely unique, challenging all their understanding of carnivorous animal anatomy. Initially, many were quick to conclude that this must be a strange variant, some distant relative of the saber-toothed cat. But upon closer analysis, scientists discovered a shocking truth. This was not a typical placental carnivore, but an ancient marsupial. It belonged to an entirely different family, Sparasodonta, a separate evolutionary branch that developed in parallel with the cat species we know today. This discovery opened a new chapter in paleontology, forcing them to reevaluate how life can develop similar characteristics despite having completely different origins. This is a classic and spectacular example of convergent evolution, where unrelated species develop similar traits to adapt to the same ecological role. The saber-like teeth of Thylacosmelus are what make it stand out and leave the strongest impression. If you compare them to the teeth of the saber-toothed cat Smilodon, you will see a clear difference. While Smilodon's teeth were flattened like a blade, Thylacus Milus's canines were triangular, resembling giant claws. What's even more special is that they continuously grew throughout its life, an extremely rare phenomenon in the animal kingdom, especially among predators. This means that, like rodent teeth, these canines would constantly grow longer, requiring Thylacosmolus to continuously use them to wear them down. Otherwise, they would become excessively long and obstructive. But the true marvel lies in how nature designed to protect these magnificent canines. From the lower jaw, a pair of special bony scabbards developed, completely enclosing the canines when the mouth was closed. Imagine a perfect sheath keeping the blades from breaking or being damaged when the animal moved or rested. This structure is completely unique, not found in any other predator on Earth, whether extinct or still alive today. Scientists have named it the saber-tooth protective sheath, a perfect testament to the boundless creativity of convergent evolution. It shows that, Despite different origins, under the selective pressure of the environment, two unrelated species can develop similar characteristics 
to adapt to an effective predatory role. In terms of size, Thylacosmylus was a formidable predator. With a body length of about 1.2 to 1.5 meters and a weight of 100 to 120 keir, it was comparable in size to a modern jaguar. The combination of its muscular body and unique canines made it one of the most fearsome predators in ancient South America. With such massive teeth and a fierce appearance, you would surely think Thylacosmolus must have been an extremely formidable predator, capable of taking down prey with ease, right? But the truth has surprised many. Mechanical analyses of its jaw structure have shown that Thylacosmolus's bite force was only about one-third that of a modern lion. This means it was not capable of crushing bones or holding prey as powerfully as today's big cats. Furthermore, another anatomical feature has also caused much debate, the position of Thylacosmylus's eyes. Its eye sockets were located on the sides of its head, similar to those of horses or herbivores. Rather than at the front, like other predators, this implies that Thylacosmolus did not have good 3D vision, which is an extremely important factor for predators to estimate distance and track fast-moving prey. So, with a weak bite force and limited vision, how did it hunt? The most widely supported hypothesis among scientists is that Thylacosmolus hunted by ambush. Instead of chasing prey across vast plains, it would hide in dense vegetation, or perhaps from trees, waiting for prey, primarily large native South American herbivores, like notungulates, to come very close. When the moment arrived, it would suddenly lunge out, using its sharp saber-like teeth to stab deep into the throat or soft underbelly of its prey. These fatal wounds would sever large arteries causing the prey to quickly bleed out and die. This was a hunting strategy that required patience and surprise. Not relying on speed or biting strength, Thylacosmylus's diet was also highly specialized, with about 75% meat, indicating it was a true carnivore. However, some experts have put forth an even bolder hypothesis, that Thylacosmylus might not have been an active predator but rather a specialized scavenger. Ripping open carcasses to access soft organs, much like vultures or hyenas, utilize the remains of prey. This hypothesis is based on its jaw symphysis, the bony connection of the lower jaw, being absent and the almost non-existent incisors, along with the fact that its molars showed no clear signs of tearing meat as seen in other saber-toothed cats. They suggest that with its triangular canines, Thylacosmolus could have used them to effectively rip skin and access internal organs. Nevertheless, to date, there is no sufficiently strong convincing evidence to fully support this hypothesis, and the ambush predator role is still more widely accepted. Whether a predator or a scavenger, Thylacosmolus was certainly a creature with a truly unique lifestyle. Approximately three million years ago, a great geological event completely changed Earth's map and ecosystem. The Isthmus of Panama emerged from the seabed, connecting the two continents of North and South America. This event paved the way for a massive migration, which scientists call the Great American Interchange. Numerous animal species from North America began migrating south, bringing formidable predators and new survival strategies. Among them were true saber-toothed cats like Smilodon, a fearsome competitor, to Thylacosmylus. Fierce competition for survival began. While Thylacosmylus with its weak bite force and ambush hunting strategy, was unable to chase high-speed prey. Smilodon possessed a much stronger bite force 
along with more efficient and flexible hunting capabilities. Smilodon could wrestle down large prey and quickly finish them off with precise bites. This created immense competitive pressure on Thelacosmolus, which had been accustomed to dominating the South American ecosystem for millions of years. Additionally, Climate change during this period also played a significant role in the decline of Thylacosmolus. Changing habitats led to a severe reduction in the number of its main prey species. As food sources became scarcer, Thylacosmolus, which was not a very flexible predator, found it even harder to find food. As a result, after millions of years of dominating the South American ecosystem as an apex predator, Thylacus mylus completely disappeared from Earth. Its extinction paved the way for saber-toothed cats from North America to later dominate the top predator role in South America. Thylacus mylus, the marsupial saber-toothed cat with continuously growing saber teeth, is truly a vivid and impressive testament to the endless creativity of evolution. It was not a true saber-toothed cat, but under environmental selective pressure, it evolved similar characteristics to adapt to its predatory role. Its continuously growing canines, protected by unique bony sheaths, are a feature not found in any other species on Earth, making it a biological marvel. Although it became extinct millions of years ago, Thylacosmolus still leaves us with valuable lessons about the miraculous diversity of life, about how species can adapt and develop extraordinary characteristics, and also about how the environment and competitive factors can change the fate of an entire species. The story of Thylacosmolus reminds us that the natural world always holds mysteries and incredible evolutionary stories waiting for us to discover. What feature of Thylacosmolus impressed you the most? Was it its continuously growing saber teeth or how it evolved to resemble saber-toothed cats despite being a marsupial? Or was it the story of the collapse of a great predatory empire? please leave a comment below and let me know. And if you want to explore more strange creatures in Earth's history, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next exciting videos. Thank you for watching and see you in the next fascinating, mysterious science stories.